Come on, we should get back to the Falcon. Let me look at that thing. Yep, as I thought, it's a tree. And you got a lightsaber, remember? Scratch on her. Well, no new ones. The scavenger resisted you. She is strong with the force. Untrained, but stronger than she knows. And the droid? Bren believed it was no longer valuable to us. That the girl was all we needed. As a result, the droid has most likely been returned to the hands of the enemy. Then the resistance must be destroyed before they get to Skywalker. We have their location. We tracked their reconnaissance ship to the Elenium system. Good. Then we will crush them once and for all. Prepare the weapon. Supreme Leader, I can get the map from the girl. If what you say about this girl is Ooh. true, bring her to me. Cameron, you're alive? Buddy! BB-8 says that you saved them. We're desperate for anything you can tell us. Once we can compare BB-8's navigational data with our own, we can find Luke's location. The main computer's through those blast doors. 
Oh, sorry, General, but the uh, blast doors are locked down due to a, uh, uh, a small fire. If anyone says you can safely cook a Nerf sausage using an X-Wing's thrusters, they're lying. My, my, my. I told you, three seconds maximum. Look, can't you just use the manual override? Yes, yes, we can use the manual override. If we can remember the right sequence, we have to show part of it. Uh, okay, we're going to have to pull two release clamps and then charge the circuits. And we need to hurry. It would help if people didn't stack equipment in the way of the release plant. Yeah, sorry, I was gonna move those, but my hands are all greasy from the sausage now, so, you know. Leak set off the safeties. The door can only be opened from the inside, which should be fine, except Oban in there only speaks bocce. Might I assist you? I speak bocce like a second language. Ah, uh, Kuma, Troy! You're my guest. <laughs> Jesus. like parts of the other release plant in that block of ours. to cannibalize parts of the track to fix up a shift, but you should have enough left to plug the gas. You know, if you're firing up the X-Wing again, could I cook another? No. Okay, sure. Totally understand. <laughs> until it melts too long oh i have a suggestion blue it's how i cook this sausage well it's not the worst idea ever thank you no that was allowing you into the resistance in the first place all right we can use that crane to get the block over to the x-wing 
BB-8, could you idly X-Wing's thrusters? That storage crate pulled out. Thank you, you're dismissed. Thank you, you're dismissed. Inside Hangar 3. Sorry. Okay, the control room is just through here. And you, no more using x rays for cooking. Aww. I really must get this arm repainted. Nobody recognizes me at all. Not to mention it being quite offensive on an aesthetic level. I hope I never again have to set foot on that dreadful planet where I got the wretched thing. Swamps are one, but something great is quite another. Your lockdown too? That wasn't me! I can see. 
Generals, have you cared to stand on the ID scanner? BB-8, could you upload your data into the astromech port? That should hold for now. General, I regret to inform you, but this map recovered from BB-8 is only partially complete. And even worse, it matches no charted system on record. We simply do not have enough information to locate oh. Master Luke. If we were so foolish to think I could find Luke and bring him home. The First Order, they're uh. charging the weapon again now. Our system is the next target. BB-8, you're wasting your time. I am afraid not. R2-D2 has been in low power mode ever since Master Luke went away. The scan data from Snap's reconnaissance flight confirms Finn's report. And this is Starkiller Base. How is it possible to power a weapon of that size? It uses the power of the sun. As the weapon is charged, the sun is drained until it disappears. Okay. How do we blow it up? There's always a way to do that. In order for that amount of power to be contained, our base has to have some kind of thermal oscillator. Huh. Mm -hmm. There is one. If we can destroy that oscillator, it might destabilize the core and cripple the weapon. We'll go in there, we'll hit that oscillator with everything we've got. We have defensive shields that our ships cannot penetrate. I can disable the shields, but I have to be there, on the planet. Hmm. We'll get you there. Repairs completed, sir. Just need to load fuel and ammo. Fuel, ammo, uh, and Wookiee cookies for Chew. I'm gonna give her the once-over before we take off. You concentrate on those supplies. Don't forget who the general is around here. Hmm. I 
I'm a bit of an amateur engineer myself, tell me, what are you doing? Well, unless you speak whatever language some idiot set this term. A protocol droid, at last! Jamia? Dakuma droids If you're not busy later, my toaster ovens got stuck on Jawaiis, so any help would be appreciated. So, how did you fix the power converter then? More duct tape. More duct tape. More duct tape. That reverse. Okay, just concussion missiles and Wookie cookies left. Hey, Morakaru Mono. Sir, would you be so kind as to provide us with access to the supply store? Ah, Shadi, we can look at your mono haha. The day you want people very heavy, not in a hell. You got a video, don't you? I am afraid Master Nam is not in a cooperative mood. Apparently, he was promised Beebleberry ice cream to cope with the heat in here, and he is unwilling to assist until the promise is made good. Not a problem. Nine Nam is a hero of the rebellion who helped destroy the second Death Star. Frankly, he can even have extra sprinkles if he wants them. It's the same deal with Han, but don't tell him I said that. All the parts we need to make Mr. Numb happy should be in that gold-colored container. BB-8, can you maneuver it to the drop hatch?
Good work, BB-8. I stopped even Artu could have manipulated it so skillfully. Those cases are pretty secure. It's going to take a fair amount of firepower to crack it open. Some good shooting. Thanks, Emery. It helps to be the boss around here. Quick, help the general. <laughs> Thank you. He's on board. Remember, Feeble Berry. He was the most emphatic upon that point. Mmm, Nijaga. Oh, yeah, Kerry, you could have a good day. Son. <laughs> 